Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Node.js applications for completely free under 15 minutes. And without further ado, let's now get started. Alright, so before getting into how to deploy the Node.js app onto Heroku, so first we need to create a simple Node.js app. So to do that, I have already created this uh, empty folder called Node.js Heroku. Now I just need to navigate into that particular folder. So cd node.js Heroku. So now I'm inside this folder. What I need to do, I need to run the npm init. So this will ask me whether I want to call this package as this name. Just press enter description. So here I'll say deploy Node.js to Heroku. Just press enter. And is this okay? Yes. Okay, so now we have created this uh, JSON file. I just need to open this in Virtual Studio Code. Alright, so here it is, guys. So here, this is the package.json inside this uh, folder right here. So right now, we got the name and a description here as well. So the first things I need to do, so uh, underneath the test, I'll need to uh, add another one, which call start right here. It should be node index.js, right? So I need to create another file called index.js here as well. Okay, so this is the new file and I'll just uh, type out all of the code. But uh, before that, I want to install a library. It's called npm uh, install or i express. All right, so here it is installed. And this is what I have wrote inside the index.js. Uh, once it installed, I'll just use the express right here and this is the app and the port it can be the uh, port 3000 or uh, this is the uh, custom one if not then it just run on port 3000 and this is the app.get it will just say hello world once we hit the um, home page and this is uh, saying us listening to port which in, in this case by default it will run on port 3000 so now I need to just run this uh, application. So to run this, just run node index.js. And here you can see that it says running on the listening on port 3000. So I just need to open the URL in the browser. All right, here it is, guys. So right here it says, uh, hello world, even though when I try to refresh, and that's the first step. So the next one, I want to create another file. It's going to call um, as data.json. Okay, so now I have uh, created this, this sample data. Uh, there's like an ID, the name, just say as Apple, and ID2, again with the name of, this time is banana. Okay, so now we have that, I go back here inside the index.js. I just need to import this file right here, uh, slash uh, data.json, which is you can see right here as well. Uh, and right here, this is the data. So what I did, I tried to create another one. In this case, this is uh, slash API. And once I hit this URL, then what I supposed to see is to see this uh, data right here. Okay, so now, uh, let me just try to run this one again. Node index.js, going back, refresh, and this time will be API. And here it is, guys. So now we have this uh, as an API data right here. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much how we create this simple uh, Node.js app. So next step I want to show you is to uh, try to uh, sign up using the Heroku. Just fill out all the information. 
Okay, name, email, company name, role, Australia. Right here, I choose the Node.js. And click on the create. Okay, so here it says almost there. I just need to check the email and then I'll come back. All right, so I have activated the account and also set a new password as well. So now uh, right here inside this login screen, just type out this and then click on the login button. All right, so this is the term of service. Click on the accept. And here it is, guys. So this is the dashboard. Um, right now I want to uh, quickly install the uh, required uh, software. Alright guys, so there are two software that you need to install. So first is the git. Um, so right here I have already installed that. So if you are using uh, the Linux, then you install this. And if you are running on the uh, Mac OS, try to follow that. If you are running on the window, in this case I'm using window, then you can just click on this link and it will automatically uh, download this uh, particular exe file then you just need to install that so once that's done uh, this is another one this is for the heroku uh, cli so you can just search for heroku uh, then uh, cli then you would be able to come to this link so once you are in this page if you are running on mac then do the same thing with this uh, command if you are running on the windows in this case i'm using window 64-bit uh, then i just need to click on this button to uh, download and then try to install it as usual then you should be good to go and this is for the uh, ubuntu uh, 16 plus Okay, so once we install these two um, required software packages, then you can come back here. So now I need to terminate this. And the first thing I need to do is to try to see if Heroku is uh, successfully installed. I can just run this command, Heroku. And right here you can see that I got a list of commands, meaning that it's, uh, it's installed successfully. So I now need to do Heroku login. So right here it say press any key to open the uh, browser. So I can just press any key. And here it will just uh, say the button uh, to log into the Heroku CLI. Just click on this login button. And here you can see that you can now close this page because uh, right now we already logged in. All right. So now let's just come back again. And here you can see that it logged in us only uh, at gmail.com uh, without having to enter the password. And now the next step I want to do is to uh, create the uh, git because uh, this one it required the git. So I need inside this uh, folder uh, just type git in it. And right here you can see that it tried to initialize the empty git uh, repository inside this folder. So here you can see this folder is created. Okay, the next step I want to do is to create Heroku. Basically like an app that you can see here. So let me just uh, show you. This is an app. So we need to create a new app. but we are using the command uh, or you can just click on this one right here as well then uh, I want to create using this command so the command is Heroku uh, create and give this app a name so I'm going to call it node.js Heroku um, probably 2021 
Okay, so now it say that it's creating this uh, new URL. Now I want to see if this is actually uh, up and running. So I just need to copy this. Come here. And here it is guys, so it say welcome to your new app, but right now uh, we don't have anything uh, yet. So we have already created this and make sure that if um, sometime when you try to put like the common name, then it show that it's already exists. So you need to change to use a uh, unique name. So now the next step I want to show you is to uh, create a git ignore file inside this project because if we don't do that we will uh, once we commit all of this file then it push the whole uh, folder here so we don't want to do that uh, now try to create a file called uh, git ignore so dot git ignore okay so right here just put the node modules like that so once we are um, at this, uh, we can just come back here and try to do the git dot uh, add dot, meaning that we add all of the file except the folder. Okay, so here this is uh, we have the package log and JSON uh, plus the uh, some of these here as well data dot JSON and index dot JS. So the next step is to try to put uh, use the command git init m so right here inside I want to say initial commit or you can just say it's like uh, deploy to Heroku then press enter so here you can see that uh, we have five uh, five files right here change uh, these are all the files that are going to push or upload it to the Heroku uh, without the uh, node modules. So the next step I want to do is to use the git. Uh, also I want to quickly show you whether the command that I used uh, is try to create a new uh, right here. So here it is. Uh, it's creating. We use the uh, Heroku create and then the, uh, the name of this app. So that works. Now let's just go back. I continue uh, to use this command which is git push heroku uh, master all right so just wait for that okay we will succeed it it compressing and it seemed to work fine so uh, we can just use this command Heroku open or we can just try to refresh the existing uh, URL but I want to use this command alright so this is the same one as you can see uh, Node.js Heroku 2021 and this is the uh, text saying hello world and now I want to go to the API page and here it is the same we get the result that is showing uh, exactly the same as the one that running on the uh, local host 3000 which is uh, right here uh, so the reason is that i have already closed the uh, app so that's the reason why but right here you can see that uh, we have all of the uh, app running as expected so once you guys go to this URL you will be able to uh, see the result uh, the same as I'm showing you here okay so that's uh, pretty much how we create or try to deploy the node.js app into uh, Heroku for completely free and uh, the next one I want to show you uh, this is optional though uh, what I need to show you is uh, let's say I'm here in the dashboard and I want to create a new app so right here uh, this time I'm going to manually uh, type the name here without using the command line so I'm going to say this one as node.js um, Heroku 2021 uh, right here so you say that this is available um, I just need to click on the create app 
Okay, so right here, um, if you are trying to enter or create this manually using the uh, interface here, you can also see that there's like a um, guide that you can just follow. So basically, it tells us try to download and uh, install the Heroku CLI that I just show you. And down here, uh, the same, we use the Heroku login, uh, git init, and this time it's a little bit different from what I uh, show you because this one here it says Heroku Git Remote and try to connect to this um, the app name Node.js does uh, Heroku does uh, 2021 um, and then we can just deploy the application using this uh, command right here which is similar to what I show you but this is another way um, if you have already created this uh, app right here Okay, so um, that's basically it guys for this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned a lot and how to deploy this uh, Node.js, the backend uh, app uh, onto this Heroku for completely free. And once you have the link, you can just share it to uh, anyone to showcase your uh, projects here as well. So that's uh, all for today. See you guys in the next video.